Hello everyone, welcome to another informative video from IIIT Bangalore. I am Swati Sharma, Senior Producer Digital Media and Branding at IIIT Bangalore. Today we have Ms. Atira from our admissions team with us. She will be helping answer some of the frequently asked questions about our B.Tech and Integrated M.Tech programs. Hi Atira, thank you for joining us. Hello ma'am. Let's begin with a very common question we receive from our prospective students and parents. Could you please explain the basic difference between integrated M.Tech and B.Tech programs? IIIT Bangalore offers two distinct undergraduate programs. The first one would be the B.Tech program. It's a four-year undergraduate degree. It is designed for students who want to focus technical education and it also provides the flexibility to pursue their higher education jobs or startups even after their graduation. We have three different branches in this program. Those would be the Computer Science and Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, and the Artificial Intelligence and Data Science program. We have allocated 120 seats for CSC, 30 for EC, and 60 for AI and DS program. The next undergraduate program we offer is the Integrated M.Tech program. It is a five-year dual degree program wherein the students graduate with both a B.Tech and an M.Tech degree. It is uh, more of a research intensive program. We have two different branches here. Those would be the Computer Science and Engineering and the Electronics and Communication Engineering. We have allocated 30 seats each for CSC and the EC department. Thanks for explaining. Let's move on to the next question now. How can a student apply to these programs and what are the important deadlines to keep in mind? So applications can be submitted through our official IIIT Bangalore website. Students can apply primarily through their JEE mains rank but from this year onwards we also accept JE advanced rank and qualifiers of the mathematics and informatics olympiads. As for the important dates, the application is already live in our portal and the last date to apply is June 10, 2025. Admission results and seat offers are expected to be announced from mid-July onwards. Thank you, that was very clear information. As you said, this year we have added JEE Advanced and Olympiad to our admission process. So many students have questions about seat allocation under these categories. Can you please shed some light on this? Sure ma'am. So students who have qualified JE Advanced can apply through this mode. Additionally, we will also consider JE Mains rank and the JE Advanced rank, whichever is better for the candidate. This ensures that students aren't at a disadvantage even if one exam did not go as planned. The next mode would be the Olympiad mode. So qualifiers of Mathematics or Informatics Olympiad can apply through this mode. It's a great opportunity for students from the non-JEE backgrounds. Importantly, we have reserved five seats for the Olympiad qualifiers across all of our branches. Thank you. That brings me to another related question. Is JEE advanced mandatory to apply? And since the results are not yet out, is there any option to upload the mark sheet after submitting the application form? No ma'am, JE Advanced is not mandatory. Students can still apply with their JE Mains rank or their Olympiad ranks. Now, if a student is applying through their JE Advanced rank, but as we know the results aren't declared yet, they can still go ahead and submit their application and later upload their JE Advanced rank within the permitted time frame. That was very helpful to know. Even though the cutoff changes every year, students still ask us, what was the JEE means closing rank for admissions in 2024? Now, these figures are only indicative for this current year. Final cutoffs will depend on each year's competition and seat availability. Here are the approximate closing ranks from 2024. For BTEC CSC, the closing rank was around 8706. For BTEC AIDS, it was approximately 11669. And for BTEC ECE, around 12,315. In the case of integrated MTech programs, integrated MTech CSC closed at about 9,323, while integrated MTech ECE had a closing rank near 13,176. Now a very practical question. Can a student apply to both the BTEC and integrated MTech programs simultaneously? Yes, students can definitely apply to both the BTEC and integrated programs simultaneously through a single application form indicating their preferences. So students can rank their choices in the order of interest. 
and the admissions committee will consider them based on merit and seat availability. The important part is, once the preferences are submitted, they cannot be changed later. So students are advised to carefully consider their preferences before submitting their forms. Thank you. I think this is a very important question. Does Tribalite Bangalore have any reservations or a quota system? Also, is there a separate entrance test conducted by the institute? IIIT Bangalore admissions are purely merit based. Also, the institute does not conduct a separate entrance exam. Our admissions are purely based on national level exams like the JE mains, JE advanced or the Olympiads. Okay. Now, here something specific to the integrated MTech program. Is there an option to exit after 4 years with just the B.Tech degree? Once a student is admitted into the 5 year integrated program, they are committing to completing the full 5 years of study. Only upon successful completion of all the 5 years, our students are awarded with both the B.Tech and the M.Tech degrees. Alright, that was very clear. Another common question, whether IIITB allows brand changes after the first year? Once the candidate joins the program and the admissions are closed, we do not allow branch change. Thank you. Here's one doubt that always confuses our prospective students. When we say first class in eligibility, does it refer to 60% overall or just in physics, chemistry and maths? So first class generally means an overall minimum of 60% in class 12. This refers to the total marks across all the subjects. Thank you. Now let's talk about fees. Could you please explain the fee structure for these programs? And are there any scholarships available for students once they join? Yes. So it would cost you around 24 lakhs approximately for the B.Tech degree and 31 lakhs approximately for the integrated M.Tech degree. Now this is inclusive of your tuition fees, hostel and food charges. IIIT Bangalore offers merit cum mean scholarship to students who qualify. Now these scholarships are designed to support students from lower income backgrounds who also perform well academically. The details of our various scholarship will be available on our website. Thank you. And while we are on financial topics, here's another common question. Can students get bank loans for the programs? Does IIIT Bangalore have any tie up with banks? Yes, we do assist our students with bank loans. During admission process, the representatives from different banks visit the campus. Students can speak with them, compare their interest rates and then start the loan process. They will have to carry their passport size photo and a government issued ID for documentation. Thank you. Now moving to campus life. This is something parents usually ask first. Is staying in the hostel compulsory for all the students? Yes, IIITB is a fully residential campus. Hostel stay is mandatory for all the students unless there is a valid medical exemption. One more thing that's always on parents' mind. What kind of food is served in the mess and how secure is the hostel and the campus overall? Now, IIIT Bangalore offers a diverse and hygienic menu that caters to various preferences. Students can expect a variety of South Indian, North Indian and Jain food options both vegetarian and non-vegetarian meals, regularly updated menu based on student feedback, special festive meals to create a homely atmosphere, and food is prepared in a clean, supervised environment. Coming to the campus and hostel security, student safety has always been a top priority at IIIT Bangalore. We provide 24 by 7 security with CCTV surveillance, restricted hostel access for residents only, dedicated wardens for boys and girls hostels, an on-call doctor and medical support will be available at all the times with immediate access, and emergency response and ambulance are on standby. Our college is known for its safe, inclusive and student-friendly environment, making it an ideal choice for young students, especially those living away from home for the first time. In short, students can focus on their academics and campus life, while parents can be assured of their child's well-being. Thank you, Atira. I think we have covered almost all the major questions. If you still have any doubts, please feel free to write to us at admissions2025 at IIITB.ac.in. We will be back soon with more updates and informative videos from IIIT Bangalore. Thanks for watching.